It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Jets. And it's all up next. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, this is a team that many think could be the fourth best in the NFC East, but they've got a pretty strong defense that's going to probably keep them in some ball games. Their investment in talent has certainly paid off. Number four against the pass a season ago. Number four overall in total defense. Nothing to shake a stick at. If they get good quarterback play, look out. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And he returns this to the 22. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Now the second year man back from injury, it's Brees Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. All again on second down. The beautiful, there he goes, right side. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. On first and 10, it's Hall. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season. 
former Tar Heel Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 20-yard line. Gets this out quickly to Dodson. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine now from the 21. Powell out of the shotgun. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Solomon Thomas busting through to get him for a loss of six. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Can't give their offensive coordinator credit there. He got right into the head of the defensive coordinator because right on the heels of the sack on second down, he figured they were going to come at him hard again. And so he went ahead and hit a, what a brilliant call. Screen pass works well enough. They're able to pick up a first down. That's one way to keep that defense at bay. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Pressure comes and down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Ah, uh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Taking it about the 16. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start on the ground. Hall. Cody Barton there to bring him down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Play action. It's Wilson. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. Shifts past him at the 45. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another for 
first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Hall again. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 49 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down, a run with Hall. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing is Wilson. Flushed out right. That'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least. If they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Running for it. Here's Cook. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. A solid pick up of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Straight ahead is Hall. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down and six. To throw is Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Al now to throw it. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Now second and nine. Robinson with another carry. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Third and one. Hal's going to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. They'll throw here right sideline. Falls incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a second and ten. And Hal will throw it. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. We can't have that. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. And that last penalty makes this third down play a little more interesting. Third and five. Now how? Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. And Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now they go play action with Hal. A quick throw there is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. 
Back to throw. Howell. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Howell looking to throw again. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Sly able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now Hall to start the drive. Room here to run. And he'll have the Jets first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. On first down, right back to Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. On second down, here's Wilson. And able to find Allen Lazard. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. A third down gain of 19. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Wilson. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly 
and knocked it free. Third and long, it's Wilson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Thomas now the veteran Morstead Thomas Morstead on to put it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Commanders will take over, but backed up deep in their own territory. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And they're going to motion dots into the left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. A lot depending on the spot there. And he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Now they can't bring him down, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs, a gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he stopped immediately there. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Here's second and ten. Here's Hal. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. I think he had to load that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now he'll look to throw it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And based on my math, 
They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Another go-around now for the Jets' offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Hall again on second down. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now here we go on the next drive for Washington. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On first down, Hal. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one goes for 24 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing here, Howell. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Hal, another throw on second down. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball down for And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 
How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Pal to the air on first and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Howell. This will be caught just inside the 10. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Powell. to scan the field there. It felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Sly able to put this one through. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. So all field goals so far, 6-3 yards score as the kick is away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The New York set to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first down, Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. <laughs> On second down, Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Third and two. Now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. There's Hall bringing in another one. He'll get it to the 40. He broke a tackle there, but couldn't get much further. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's going to get this down near the 25. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 42 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. From the 38 now, here's second down and one. Again, it's Robinson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now, how? It's caught on the right side by Robinson. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. 
it. And it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Robinson up the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll try the left side with Gibson. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves him with 14 yards still to go on third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. On the return is Gibson. This taken in right around the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, they got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's doubled the distance to the first down marker. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete and able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Short completion, just four yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. I've worked with you long enough now to know you like that decision. Go safe, pressure coming, hit your guy underneath. It's an excellent decision but he knew it came with consequences, and that's him getting hit on the play, but able to dump it to his running back and gain some yardage. I liked everything about it, especially his ability to stay in the pocket and execute. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half, so much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Crowder now to return. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. The Washington offense set to take over again. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive.
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Now a handoff to start it out, Robinson. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. Little bootleg here, Howell. Open man is Samuel, complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Al now to throw it. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Quinnen Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. Back to throw, Howell. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Robinson pushing his way into the end zone touchdown so the toss play effective even down here near the goal line yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage and when they do foot race to the pylon and this time he had the speed to win that race And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. You know, we've discussed this before, and we've seen it at practices, extra periods being put in for the offense on these two-point tries. But the defense, they're beefing up their support as well in practice. They absolutely have to. If people are going to go for two and try and gain those advantages and make it tougher on your team as the game goes along, you have to be in a position to stop those. You can't let them get the advantage. So, yes, the defensive teams, they're putting in that extra time on two-point plays as well. Joey slide out, a kick off after the touchdown. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And 
that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. A good position to be in here, second and inches. On second down, a run with Hall. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Jonathan Allen able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Now it's Crowder. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Set to go again, here's Brian Robinson, the commander offense. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that, comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Al throwing on first down here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 97 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They'll throw on first down, here's Hal. Complete, it's Dodson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 49-yard line. Two yards to go, second down. Hand off now to Robinson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On third 
down Robinson. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they're going to motion dots into the left. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Pal's throw taken in by Samuel, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. So just three yards on the completion there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Hal throwing on third down here. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Sly able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So an important one there as they widen their lead in this fourth quarter. All right, partner, help me out with the math here. Make sure I am on point, because the way I see it, the other guys still need two touchdowns, but in addition, a two-point conversion. So this is all about them playing perfect football from here on out. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. On the return is Gibson. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. From the 23, here's second and nine. Here's Wilson. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. To throw again is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Play action. It's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. They'll go again with Hall. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. The first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 13. He'll start with a give to Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 18. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing here, Howell. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Powell. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first and 10, it's Robinson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And some room to roam now. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he'll go down at the 28. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Now an option play on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Powell going to go down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.